Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Ethan A Videos, and we are back again with another video. Um, about three months ago, I made a video how I'm quitting YouTube. I have decided that I will keep making YouTube videos. Um, I'm planning on maybe making two videos a week, maybe something like that. I don't know. Um, I might take breaks from here and there, so I might, you know, upload. Uh, for a couple weeks and take a break off for I don't know a little while and start uploading but we're going to try doing some YouTube again um, before we get in this video I do have one question if anyone uh, you know can help so I have a fresh install of Windows I have nothing but you know like Blender and stuff like that installed and I have a fresh install of um, Firefox but I cannot watch any of my videos even signed in in Firefox. Chrome? No problem. If anyone understands that, please help me. There's other videos on YouTube I come across that I can't watch. I get the stupid. An error occurred. Please try again later. Playback ID. If anyone knows how to fix that, leave it down in the comments. Anyways, this is going to be a bit of uh, how to kind of get some stuff ready. Or your first time modding and also two comments um, asking for uh, some helpful tips I guess that I said I would make if you want it um, so shout out to let's see please make shout out to Jinger C C I don't know how you pronounce it C A I don't know I suck at pronouncing stuff so um, there's another one here. Triple D Gaming. Shout out to you too. Uh, you comments are finally getting a video made out of them. So anyways, I don't remember if I said this, but if I didn't, uh, the links will be down in the description for you guys. So, I'm not going to show you how to get Blender set up because I already have it and it's pretty simple. Um, Blender. I will also leave a link down in the description for Blender in case you can't find it, but you go to blender.org and then you just go to download and then um, you can select, like right here, this is Windows, you can select for editor versions, uh, editor OS's, and there you go. So, um, I will post a link down here, don't download any, uh, like, Giants editor from any other place other than Giants Developer Network. I don't want you guys getting viruses or any uh, stupid stuff like that. Before you can even do this with Giants Developer Network, you need to create an account. It asks for your username that you want for your account. It asks for a full name and it asks you to type in your email two times. Make sure it's the email you have access to because it will not let you set your own password you have to go to that email and it will uh, give you a random letters and numbers and stuff and then you have to go back here and log in once you log in you'll access downloads and currently um, Farm Center 22 is out and um, so we're going to go for the Giants Editor version for 22 um, last time I downloaded it was 9.0.1 I think something like that but anyways you're going to locate the latest version would be preferred because if you have a version that's older than your game some stuff's not going to work so we're going to go with the latest version just click that it's going to download as an exe really simple once it's downloaded you're going to click it give it permission Accept the terms and conditions for them to sell your information and track you. I'm just kidding. I don't know because I don't read terms and conditions. Now, I prefer to have a shortcut. You don't need a shortcut, but I prefer to have a shortcut. Alright, so, we're going to dislike view readme.txt because I hate reading. And we're going to run the application. Alright, so this is what a uh, Giants Editor will look like when you first set it up. Um, down here, it says Show at uh, Startup. I find this little page annoying because I don't need it. 
um, some of you guys might want to uh, see it because if you click on this, it'll take you to the keyboard shortcuts. I've never used them. Um, I'm going to check that box and then close this. So we now have Giants Editor, the latest version installed. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to be doing the add on for a Blender so you can export stuff from Blender as an i3D. So I'm assuming that you already have Blender installed and all that stuff. And from the beginning, I kind of just showed you how to do it. You basically, you know, go for all those st instructions. Okay, um, so what version of Blender I'm using is 3.3.0. Um, should work for that version and probably anything newer. Um, you can also go get, I believe, I don't know if these this one would work with Blender. I don't know if these two, if any of them would work with Blender. But um, I've linked down in the description for this. Um, anyways, we are going to download this. So we're going to go down to Assets, I3D Exporter. Once it's done downloading, we are going to, you can either click here or you can open up your own file. Uh, explore, go to downloads or wherever you have it set up to download. We are going to hit Control X, put it wherever you want. I am going to put it on my main drive right here. Um, if you're going to do the same thing, you're going to need administrator permissions to do this. I have administrator permissions, so I'll do it. Now, last time I did it, um, well, I've done this a couple times, and there was one time I had no problems, and then there was other times I ran into problems, and all I had to do is just right-click and run as administrator. Now, you don't have to do this every time, just when you're installing it, and right up here it says 3.3.0, uh, that's my version. Um, if you don't get that pop-up and you want to know what version you are running, go up here where you see the little icon. Um, yeah, not right-click go up here and left click and then go to about blender it'll give you all the information you need about your blender now go to edit preferences add-ons go to install and remember where you put it I'm going to go to volumes local disk C because that's where I put it now we're going to look for i3d underscore exporter dot zip we're going to select that and hit install add-on now once we do it, we should refresh it. Sometimes it doesn't go right to it, so you have to refresh it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, um, I don't know, I just felt like it hitting expand, but um, we're going to hit this check mark. Yeah, not responding. It's got to think about it. Come on. Okay. So another thing you're going to do is FS data folder. You don't have to do this, but I do. Um, we're going to go to where you have your farming simulator installed, which is right here for me. Except now we're going to close this down and we're going to go to file import. I don't think you have anything, but export you will have at the bottom here i3d dot i3d so now you can export stuff as an i3d okay now what we're going to do is we're going to be showing you how to get text into uh, basically the giants editor and the game so we're just going to hit g oops don't have this looks g z bring it up we're going to scale it by the y like that we're going to scale it by the Z we're gonna make a little sign here um, let's we'll scale it a little bit by the X alright so we got our billboard so what we're going to do is we're going to hit shift day um, or you could come up to add and you got it here but I prefer shift day and then what you're going to do is you're going to go right here to where it says text you're going to create your text. You know, you're going to get it all pretty. So, um, let's see. Rotate X90. 
then we are going to rotate Y. Not what I wanted. Um, uh, it would be R Z ninety. All right. So now we're going to grab it by the X, move it forward. We're going to scale it up a bit. Go here, and then we are going to geometry. And let's see, extrude. Is this what we want? Yeah, that's what we want. We're going to offset it. And nope. Alright, scale it up real nice and big. G, Y. I'm also going to show you one other thing as a bonus for making it this far into the video. So say you're making a sign and you don't want text that looks like this. You know, like, um, say we do something like this. You don't want text that's sticking out. You want text that's, like, been engraved in there. So what you do is you stick your text in here about that far then you select whatever you want it to be engraved to you go to this little wrench thing it's called the modifier properties you go to add a modifier and you go to the boolean once you're there at boolean you click this little syringe and you select your text let's make our text disappear uh... you know what i don't know if you can do that yet yeah you might not be able to do it just yet anyways in order to get it into the game you are going to make sure that you want it to be whatever text you want like whatever you want to say so hit tab and I wanted to say um, sub uh, hit tab alright Alright, so this is how you get into the game. You right click on it <coughs> and you go to convert to mesh. Now it's mesh, it's just like a cube now, it's just a mesh. And if I hit tab, it just takes me in the edit mode. That's it, it won't let me um, type anything out. Now we can select this and we select this little syringe and we're now getting object text, uh, highly rate right with the syringes. If we click, boom. Now let's make our text invisible. You can see that it cut it in, and I don't know why it got a little funky there. But, um, you know, most of the time it works out. <laughs> um, so, <sighs> now what we're going to do is we are going to delete this because we don't need to hit A to select everything. And we are going to go up to File export i3d and we're going to save it on my desktop save it wherever you like I don't recommend saving stuff on your desktop it makes it look messy but whatever you want and we're going to call this tutorial there. yeah I'm not the best speller uh, but we'll say it's spelled like that I don't know because I suck at spelling alright get rid of this hopefully we didn't uh, screw it up too much alright so we got this i3d right here it's called tutorial now if we open this up there you go controls are like different and I haven't been in this uh, in Giants editor for a while so and we got the text in here. One thing I do recommend, especially if you're a modder and you hope people, you know, edit your mod and stuff, um, don't use edit mode and stuff like that and don't join stuff together. Like, say, if I wanted to just use your background and get rid of this text, I can, but if you join them together in Blender, you can't do that. Drives me nuts people do that, but I do it on purpose so people can't really edit the stuff I do that I create. But, um, let me show you what it would look like if you did not convert this to a mesh. Okay, so it doesn't even show up in the 
scene graph is what the uh, Giants editor calls it. Unity calls it archive. So it doesn't show up at all. Cube's looking a lot different. Don't know why. Um, but yeah, so I showed you what it looks like uh, when you don't convert it from a... Uh, convert it to a mesh. I showed you how to get it in there by converting it to a mesh. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe. Leave your uh, comment down below what you thought, what I can do to improve this video, and what you think I should do in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, be sure to like, subscribe, share it with your friends, turn on the bell so you don't miss any notifications, and go check out some of my videos. Till then, have a great week. See you next time. Bye.